Instructions in high jump. Uh, top seed in high jump is uh, Milford's Leslie McGrath with a jump of 5 4. Uh, and our last entrant, uh, Katarina Stupoy, Stupoys from Sahagin with a 4 10 jump. So right now the height's listed at. We're at a 4 8. 4 8 opening height. And you can sort of see there. Yep. Uh, so they got the bar already. I'll have to wait and see who we got coming up first. So we got Abby Friedman of White Mountains for their first attempt. Takes it down with her legs. Like she took a little bit of a big last step, taking some of the home thought of her jump. Next up is Hannah Monahan of Wyndham. She's over clean. Looks like we got Anna Stafford of Hanover. She's over. Kind of close to the bar, but she was able to get her legs over without dragging it off. Sydney Eccleston of Manan knocks up next. Ooh, oh, so just, Yeah, clipped it with her calf on the way down. So she had the height on that. Fast starting approach. Looks like that's possibly <laughs> Hannah Ellers of Sandborn or Kaylin LaChapelle of Sandborn. Seem to make it over no problem. Mm -hmm. Alright, well that was one of the Sanborn girls. I think they just said McGrath. That would be our top seed from Milford. I mean, this might seem, if you're following along with the uh, program write up and stuff like that, that they're going out of order, but uh, you can elect at what height you want to come in. Some people might be electing to come in a little bit higher up. No, we've got. I'm guessing Olivia Cray from Portsmouth. Over clean. Looks like we got Campbell's Tori Allen. She's over clean. lineup of people that have jumped. Can athletes choose to, to stay at the starting height if they want to? Or What do you mean? Do, or like, do, do athletes typically go over starting height to warm up or do they just come in where they're... I mean it really depends on where they're most comfortable. I know I, I've had some jumpers that were capable of jumping six feet would still mm -hmm. come in at the opening height just as to, just to run through the motions and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, 
you know, high jump's one of those things where you get three misses at a height, or you can actually pass on a height and move up to another height if you're right. feeling um, that staying at that height's not worth it. Eccleston of Mananock, too close to the bar on takeoff. So took it off with her shoulders heading up. I just thought that was interesting strategically, like what you'd rather do as an athlete in this meet. I think it also depends, you know, sometimes it'll depend on uh, there's a clean jump. Sometimes it'll depend on, you know, what you have for other events, how much a jump might take out of you. Yeah. Some jumpers can jump all day and they don't really get tired. Other people. There's um, another clean jump. Yeah, that was, uh, that was uh, Leslie McGrath. Our, our top seed in this event. Uh, some people, you know, try to save it up. Right. Oh, All right, no. that was uh, Abby Friedman of White Mountains. And I'm not sure that could be, have been her final attempt. Now we got at least two. Yeah. Again, Eccleston took it off on the way up. Uh, to me, when you know, though we don't put, turn out many high jumpers, we have had a couple of state champions in the event, and I think when when I see them taking it off with the shoulders, that usually means that they're in too close to the bar, mm. uh, and they're taking it off kind of on their way up. Yeah, uh, and, and you know when the when the bar gets high, you know. It, it looks high, and, and I think sometimes the athletes have a tendency to, to creep into the bar to, to feel, you know, it's a little bit more comfortable for them from there. Yeah. But, but the thing is, as the bar goes up, you actually need to be jumping from further out because, you know, your arc, the arc, the top, you really want uh, yeah, and you want going over at the middle at the, of, the, yeah, you, of the bend there. Exactly. And you want, you want uh, the top of your arc to be right over the mm -hmm. bar. It looks like we're moving up to 410 here. Yeah. Looks like we've got uh, Hannah Monahan of Wyndham starting off this round. There she goes. Ooh, she was close to it. Right. But she's over. She's got plenty of spring in that. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the next round quickly. Yeah, they're not wasting any time jumpers or the helpers. They, that bar goes right back yeah. on. Olivia Cray of Portsmouth. Over two? <laughs> yeah. Touched it on the way over, but uh, over clean. Rubbed to the bar, so to speak. Got another Sanborn athlete here. She took it off again with her calves. Looks like we got one of our Portsmouth athletes up next. Play that So close. This looks like it just clipped it with her calves there. And now Campbell is up next.
Good speed on the approach and over no problem at 410. Teresa Irving of Merrimack Valley over clean. We've been naming some of the athletes a little incorrectly. I said that Hanover jumper was from Portsmouth, and that wasn't the oh. case. That was Anna Stafford of Hanover, where they both have marine, uh, marine maroon uniform. Yeah, they can get kind of tricky from over from here. From over here, yes. <laughs> so this is Leslie McGrath of Milford. Oh, okay, I see her. They're just setting up the bar again. Here we go with uh, Sanborn's La Chapelle. She's over that clean. Over. Smooth looking jump, can't argue with that. This is Hannah Ellers of Sanborn. Coming in from the left. Yeah. Olivia Cray from Portsmouth now. If I build, if I remember correctly, I think uh, Cray won last year, or she certainly was in it uh, right up until the end. Um, and I remember commentating last year as her coach that I, I would be getting nervous. She has a, a very long routine hmm. prior to her jumping, and as the bar goes up, it seems to get longer and longer. You just got to be careful. You don't want to end up putting yourself in a position where you run out of time on your approach. Visualization is important, but mm -hmm. uh, getting your jump off in time is even more important. Oh, yeah. And she was in too close and drags it off it seems with her that, thighs and calf. seems that the routine is key. For... It definitely is, but, you know, and I think you, when you look at that, even like the sprinters getting in the blocks and stuff like mm -hmm. that, but uh, I think there's there's that was uh, Leslie McGrath of Milford taking it off. It's it's pretty important to uh, make sure your routine's efficient, mm. so that no matter what's going on, you can just you know I, I would I would hate to have an athlete that pushes it right down to the last seconds mm -hmm. in their approach. So here's Hannah Ellers of Sanborn takes it off of their legs. I believe that's the final jump at this height. Okay, so they just called Cray, and again, she's. I would have been waiting at my spot so that I could have already been in prep mode, but hmm. like you said, everybody has kind of their own routine about things. No, I'm very patient, I'll say that much. Again, just as a coach, I'd be nervous about. Uh, running out of the time because there's a limited amount of time they have to make that approach. Oh, yeah. and this is yes. this is it's a uh, little tedious. I'm not so sure that they're count that the officials are counting, but huh. I believe if I remember correctly, it's a minute and Gosh, if that wasn't a minute, it was darn close. There we go. Hey, it over. pays off. It paid off. Yep. Can't argue with the results. Nope. Now she's got a little bit of time that because they're gonna have to put the bar up. We've got uh, Leslie McGrath, our top seed, getting ready to roll. She's over clean too. Yep. You can see in that jump that she started far enough away from the bar. Yeah, a lot of a um, lot of room to spare. Mm -hmm. which is good. Again, as that bar goes up, you take off. If you keep taking off from that exact same spot, what that means is that the angle at which you have to take off becomes greater. Yeah. Of course, 
a lot of what's going on is you're trying to increase your speed so that you can you know be more proficient at the jump and everything like that and so that just keeps taking you closer and closer to the bar do you change your mark at all when you uh you know some get farther and farther it, it like up it depends it depends on the type of jumper you have and stuff like that for for me we tried to keep everything standard because a lot of the high jump what it is it's just repetition you do the same movements over and yeah. over again um we broke it down high jump into like six steps and the first step was getting to that mark there's five steps that come over that about getting over the bar and you know if you can eliminate one of those things you have to think about um makes a huge difference yeah that was hannah monahan of wyndham at five foot she came in at 410 so she's jumping at a season's best now Anna Stafford of Hanover almost yeah she, I mean she's got the height she's definitely you got can the see height the reaction there yeah. She just slid over the bar, but not quite yep. enough. Looks like we got La Chapelle of Sanborn ready to jump. Oof. She was pretty tight to that bar as well. This is uh, her season's best that she's jumping at. Olivia Cray of Portsmouth back. Got it. I had a girl that ended up uh, winning outdoor state championships in high jump. Hmm. Um, and I got her when she was a sophomore. She was a reasonably good jumper as a freshman. Um, but she was tall and thin, which is almost a requisite if you're gonna right, I mean, that's start kind of getting ideal up to that build. five, yeah. yeah, that five foot mark and everything like that. Cray yeah. took it off. I think she looks like she took a big last step, and that can take the power out of your jump. But one of the things that we had to do with her, we took an entire season to dis, uh, deconstruct mm. the the stuff that she did because she just. She'd get in too close. She she was good up to like four six because she'd just throw her shoulders and let the momentum pull her over the bar. But mm. the problem is, you know, once you start to get up to the height where her shoulders were, she couldn't go then any higher. Then you gotta change your strategy. Yeah. Corey Allen with a near miss. Uh, that was actually a, a, a pretty good jump. I think if she was just six uh, inches back from there, she would have cleared it. Teresa Irving comes in as our second seed from Merrimack Valley. I did jump a little bit when I yeah. ran track, and for me, the hardest part was throwing my hips up over the up bar. Up and over. You know what? Lots, one of the things that I think you, we see a lot of uh, in it is the kids, when you get up there and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and uh, Irving takes the bar off, is that they'll, as they go over the bar, they try to look to see if they're going to hit it. And when you do that, that basically crunches you into a C in the wrong direction. And because of that, that then makes uh, makes it difficult. That was Leslie McGrath of Milford. Really, so far, nobody has cleared five. All right. We've had a few. You got Hannah Monahan of Wyndham back at it. Yeah, a couple close misses. Very close, yeah. I think sometimes, too, what people forget when they look at uh, the seating. There she's we go. Over. We got our first five-footer. Monahan is over, so she's going to be pretty happy because 410 was her season's best. All right. But I think sometimes what people forget is that, that mark, the number that they're looking mm -hmm. at. Uh, you know, we have a 5'4 jumper, but that might have happened in only one meet. They might have been on that day and stuff like that. Right. You look at the world record that's uh, eight feet, half an inch. Huh. Uh, that stood I don't know how many years. How is that years. possible? Yeah, so do my are. And that was uh, Anna Stafford of Hanover. 
again, jumping two inches higher than what she has for season best. But that eight eight foot half inch that Soto Moyar did, he mm -hmm. did once. He might have done it more in practice, but it's the record because it's right. the highest he ever jumped. But it's rare to get back to that same height. Yeah, La Chapelle with a miss. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, the yeah. rest of the season he might have jumped six inches shorter right. than that, but had a good day there. All right, looks like we got Cray back on deck. A senior. I jump was one of those events that uh, you definitely see. There's a lot of fair, fair amount of events in high school that you might see mm -hmm. um, freshmen and sophomores um, kind of at the forefront. Uh, some of the distance events. Oh, pray with a miss. Um, but these technical events tend to favor the upperclassmen. Mm -hmm. Just the more time that they've had at practice, more more seasons that they had, they tend to tend to right. be you a little really bit better at the technical aspects. Just because they've had more time. Iron out your routine yeah, and get coaching. And yep. yep. Just more time spent at the those critical mm -hmm. things. You got Tori Allen, sister of mm -hmm. distant star Jeffrey Allen. So she took it down. Okay, okay. Yeah, I took it down maybe with her shoulder. Yeah, I know. It's when you look at when you look at them and you, you know you look at their faces, you can mm -hmm. see the resemblance. It's just we're so used to seeing Jeffrey Allen and yeah. all the distance events, and and uh, Tori's a hurdler mm -hmm. and high jumper, long jumper. So it's she did the field side of things. He did the track side of things. I guess. Well, he did the distance track. This is Teresa Irving. The miss. The miss. She has a season high uh, best jump of 5-2. Leslie McGrath the Milford. Oh, oh so, so very close. close. Yeah, that was just just with oh. her, brushed it with her calf. That's fixable, though. That's very right. fixable. You got the height. That's super important. Yeah, I think she can still be happy with that. Well, she won't be happy. Well, won't be happy if, now, if, others, if somebody else yeah. gets home. And she doesn't. But I think but, that... Uh, yeah, no, that was a good jump. That's the other thing, I think, when I was coaching the high jump. You're going to have more misses than you're going to have makes. And you, mm -hmm. you, you just... You know, that's something as a coach you got to teach your athletes. That's... I mean, it's a... It, it's an elimination event. That's how right. it works. Oh, another near miss there. Yeah. Stafford was definitely in too close to the bar when she took off. Power right through it. All right, La Chapelle. With her final attempt, I believe, at this height. And yeah, I think there she, go. Oh, I think she tagged that twice, but it stays Still right where stayed. it was. Yep. That's all That's that all matters. matters. You can hit it; it just can't come off. Mm -hmm. All right, Portsmouth Olivia Cray. If I remember correctly, too, La Chapelle comes back in maybe the girls' hurdles as well. Oh, I saw her name somewhere else. Long jump. Wow, this scares me. <laughs> say it worked out for her the first time. Yeah, it did. You know, as an official, you don't you don't pre-anticipate that kids are going to take longer than right. they're supposed to. So, it's, it, you know, sometimes that, that clock is not mm -hmm. 
running and the kids off you know they can benefit by that but like yeah. I said man I would I just wouldn't want my athlete to be in that sort of a predicament mm-hmm. come up with a slightly shorter routine right. so, so that even you're if, not if somebody the is watching right you'll have you'll be good either way oh that was a make Corey Allen sliding over the bar doing exactly what she needed to do all right we've got uh, Irving of Merrimack Valley that's still looking to make this height. And Leslie McGrath the Milford. If not, I think we'll be down to two jumpers. Sometimes what you see, too, is as the bar gets higher, the, the amount of time it takes for you to form your run up gets gets longer and that's mm-hmm. not always a good thing think too much yeah and that's another part of the game for yeah. me that was hard it's like you know you get your run up all ready to go and then you get to the bar and then like there's that momentary like yeah. hesitation all right leslie mcgrath is over. slides over the bar as well so i think that's three moving on to the next round and it'll be another height change here. Yep. Heading up to 5-2. So far, only Teresa Irving of Merrimack Valley and Leslie McGrath of Milford have done that. No, uh, Leslie McGrath isn't seen. moving on. So we've got uh, we've got Hannah Monahan of Wyndham, Kaylin LaChapelle of Sanborn, and Teresa Irving... I mean, Tori Allen and Campbell moving up. 5-2. So if Monaghan can get this jump, she'll now have jumped four inches better than the seasonal best. First miss. This is higher than Allen has jumped this this year. She has 5-1 coming in. This we're at 5-2. So none of these jumpers have cleared this height this year. It's first attempt. Yeah. Allen. Well, again, it looked like there might have been a big last stop, kind of taking some of the energy out of the jump. I haven't seen any athletes do this today, but they do get a chance to run by before, right? Yep. Oh, Milford was still in. I made a mistake on that. Sorry for our viewers. McGrath with her first attempt at that height. So she has she has the lead height going in, so she's cleared that height before. Yeah, you do you can as long as you don't break the plane, meaning that your body does not go above or over the bar. Um, that attempt doesn't count as a jump. Took that one out with her back. Yeah. Hannah Monahan of Wyndham beginning to recognize maybe what her limits are. Again, she's now four, jumping four inches higher than she's done this season. Sanborn La Chapelle's second attempt. She was oh, in a little no, tight to the bar. Up. She has the height, but she was definitely too tight to the bar on oh. the takeoff. Oh. 
I think it's one of those things too. There's so many little technical details mm -hmm. oh, yeah. uh, can make it difficult to coach because uh, you know an athlete can't absorb too many details at the right. same time. So we used to always just work on you know trying to trying to get one. Mm -hmm. And you could get your release like perfect. Corey Allen with a miss again, fairly tight to the bar. But yeah, you can so only you can work on one a, parameter at mm -hmm. a time. Or and you should only try to. You can do it like a thousand times. You just get that one lucky mm -hmm. jump. Oh, yeah. Testing. Oh, it's Leslie McGrath rolling right over the bar, but just taking it down. She has the ability to clear this jump. She had the height. Just got to get it where it matters. All right, Monahan and Wyndham on her last attempt. 5-2. And that'll do it for Monahan. But again, coming in as the seventh seed. Finishing top four at a bare minimum. Still a good day. Points towards team. Ashapala Sanborn on her final attempt at 5 2. And that was oh, actually course. fairly close miss as well. So they'll have to look at uh, the count back attempts. Actually, I mean, she's no worse than four, but if everybody goes out at this height, they're going to mm -hmm. have to have a jump off. Would they do that at the same height? Would they do it at 5'2"? They go down, I believe they go down an inch. Well, I say, there's I've our only, first yeah. run up of the day. I've only seen, I've never seen four athletes go out at the top height. Yeah. So to, to be honest, I'm not really, I don't know if they'll look at countbacks, but you, you can't, there's no ties in high jump for first place. Mm -hmm. So that's Tori Allen's third, third. mess. Mm -hmm. 